Amigos, welcome back to our channel, Atrocities Upon Cities, where as always you see a progression of every day. Today you got to see how we're going to be fixing the sprinklers. You quickly saw at the beginning that there was a runoff from this certain sprinkler. It was covered by roots, so it wasn't allowed to go up. We'll continue into progressing into what the yard looks like. There's a dry spot there. You can tell that the sprinkler on the bottom of the screen, it's barely sporing out. So we went ahead and changed the tip. We changed two tips on this area right here and to the right side. We kind of adjusted a couple of the sprinklers and we walked around making sure that they all either sprayed the right way we changed all the tips to make sure that they all lightly get all the areas that were not covered anymore we replaced new ones in that section where it's dry and different areas that we take care of the planters you can see how nice it's starting to turn out here they used to take care of it themselves but they want help for the fall or for the winter we'll see how long we last around here you can tell all these nice little bushes and this sprinkler out here it's not leaking anymore but the area needs to be assessed and checked out so we can go back to normal you can tell we're going to be working with the rain drip out here one of these rain drips they're too close to the tree and they're spraying they need to be bubbling water out with the longer on the back side so they don't hit the fence or they don't hit the yard so we quickly pull out the old one we push in the new systems nowadays every system get upgraded you can tell how nice it is comes with its own little self clipping mod module here which works great before it wasn't like that you had to punch a hole you had to do different things now they have everything pre-assembled ready for you and it doesn't even cost a lot at every piece cost me two dollars i only changed to five so it's very simple out here our customers get a different price compared to strangers strangers or new customers get a certain price for irrigation when you already hire us for the weekly gardening or things like that we tend to give you a better price you can tell here we were trying to fit out which was the best way if we can use the old stake to hold the line or if we couldn't but that's what it takes out here fellas you have to make the right decision you have to find out if it makes sense or if it doesn't does it look right then they wouldn't know what we did you know so this is why we make videos so they can understand what we did we can talk about it a little of course we asked if we can make the video it's always very important that you ask your customers about the video right so we can make sure that everything looks good try not to make too many house shots but making video has really changed our life and our business out here everybody knows what we show up to do and that we could get the job done and like that we'll continue to progress on all these areas fella so let's go into a quick hyperlapse and we'll we continue to change all these areas and how they're looking and we'll be right back fellas so thanks a lot Amigos, welcome back. You guys see us working with the irrigation systems out here. We already changed the bubbler system out here. You can tell the big difference. It's not spraying like a sprinkler anymore. And all you have to do is twist it around so you can lower the, the leverage or the power of the adjustable drip that you have there. You could just twist it to the left, twist it to the right, and either it adjusts or it shows the power of how much you're going to be throwing in and out that you can perfectly see it turn it to the right little bit of power i just adjusted and now you're going to be controlled your water you're going to be having enough it's the winter so you don't need so much probably next year we'll go ahead and turn it down you can tell here same deal you have to turn it around you close it some of them don't work as great as others so you could tell that when you open it the water is a little stronger than others is this is just closer to the valve so of course it has much pressure and even if you choose to move it a little to the side it'll always have more more pressure since it's so close to the outlet of the water where it's coming and different things that you see out here fellas we'll continue to move on all the, the places that we replaced out here we did five we did two brand new sprinklers on the lawn and different areas like that that we'll continue to progress on we adjusted the timer it was watering way too much it still had super summer watering times so now that the temperature is dropping the water is not going anywhere it's just sitting there creating dampening up and this is what creates the the lawns you guys can tell that the drip came off so we had to just cut the tip and put a new one here we are dealing with the sprinkler me and paola get it done out here we continue to change all the sprinklers these were small sprinklers that the tips usually get knocked off by the weed whacking over gardeners over the years and you can tell right here we're going to go ahead and continue to work on them and change them we went ahead with new sprinklers and just change them you know things like that is what helps out here changing them with better sprinklers the right tip and different things this was just a four van 
band so it was a four foot section that's gonna get water that's a six band it's a six foot section that's gonna get water every sprinkler has a different color for how much height and velocity it's throwing out there so you know you guys gotta remember that everything makes sense if you're using the right parts and like that you won't have all those water spots that sometimes get created you can tell there was one in the back and three in the front and there it is fellas all the drips abrogations looking great again looking perfect everything's under control there's not just gonna be water everywhere it was water and a little extra damp the first time we were there because we were running all the motions to make sure that everything was working right but hopefully the valves last a little longer they looks like one of them will still go faster than we think but hopefully it stays good fellas Amigos, welcome back to our channel. So for those of you guys that follow me, you guys know that we've been at this house plenty of times. I told you guys last time the morning glories were about to um, flower again in the fall. And we're out here because there's mushiness in the grass. That means one of the valves that we had already looked bit before, the gophers took over and the area got all full. One of the valves now doesn't close, so it's seeping water, making it wet all over the lawn. So we have to come by, open it, and probably check if we have to replace one of them. We have replaced three and there's five so i'm pretty sure we're gonna have to replace one of the one that's leaking you can tell the boxes are full of dirt thanks to all the gophers and when we changed them last time we had left them open and visible and now you can see they're all full of dirt and invisible you can't even see they're not visible you know so very bad for the gophers they're not very good out here they take over sometimes and create bigger problems you can see it's a problem that shouldn't have happened but because they came in here and started digging through filled up the valves with dirt and now they don't close they mess up the washers or anything like that little grains of rocks get stuck in between the valves and all of a sudden now they don't close anymore the right way so there's our brass valves we're gonna check how they look up close we have changed three of them out here they have two left so we asked if they wanted to change both or even though one of them wasn't was still pretty good they said no so thanks for everybody that watches please watch the update later AUC Amigos